students how can so solve this problem without pen and paper yes i can solve this problem by just seeing this okay i can tell you the answer that the answer for this question is going to be 5 amperes how can i say this first of all you need to find out what is the current passing through each and every resistance you all know the current passing is 1 ampere 1 ampere 1 ampere 1 ampere this is also 1 ampere this is also 1 ampere this is also 1 ampere 1 ampere and 1 ampere okay you can just see that these 5 amperes are passing through the ammeter these 5 amperes are passing through the ammeter so your answer is going to be 5 these 4 amperes are just bypassing without traveling towards the ammeter that's why your answer is going to be 5 amperes then you'll be getting doubts sir how can you find out that the current passing through each and every resistance is only 1 ampere how can you say that it's very easy my dear okay you know that in the problem it is given that every resistance passing through is 9 ohms only 9 ohms only isn't it 9 ohms and what is the total current in the circuit what is the total current in the circuit? You know total current is V net by R net. So what is the net voltage here? Net voltage is 9. You know what is the net resistance of the circuit? It is just 1 ohm. So therefore the net current is going to be 9 amperes. How can you say net current is 1 ohm here? One, 1 ohm. Net resistance is only 1 ohm. How can you say that? It's very simple. When uh, Nine resistances are in parallel connection. You know resistance net when the case of parallel connection is R by M. This is going to be a shortcut formula. What is R here? R is nothing but nine. And how many are in parallel connection here? Nine are in parallel connection. Okay. So R means each, each one of the resistance. And N is nothing but how many are there in parallel connection. So uh, 9 by 9 is 1. That means net resistance is 1. So net potential is 9. So total current in the circuit is 9 amperes. That means this 9 amperes is divided among all the 9. That means each one will get 1 ampere of current as they are in the parallel connection. And as they are having the same resistance, the current is divided equally. And you can say that the ammeter current is only 5 because these 5 resistors are outside and they have to definitely pass through this ammeter whereas the current passing through these 4 resistors will bypass like this and the remaining four, 5 amperes will come through the ammeter. That's why ammeter is showing 5 amperes. Hope you have enjoyed.